I wanted to make absolute sure to participate in this month. What month is it, collab? Because it's my birthday month. If you're not familiar with the What Month Is It Challenge, I'll tell you how simple it is to join on the 15th of each month. We create DIY projects that represent the month that we are in, whether it's using the first stone, color, flower, tree, animal, etc. And we give credit to our host, co-host, and guest hosts. The special guest host this month is Annie from Indiana Jones. And the co-hosts are Yelena from Blondie Next Door and Christine from DIY Craftaholic. And as always, your host is Tammy from Happiness Created. I'll leave links for all their channels below in the descriptions, along with a link to this playlist. So be sure to check those out once you're done here. For this DIY, I'm using a Dollar Tree pizza pan. And I'll be prepping it for paint by using a coat of Outdoor Mod Podge. The reason I like using this, it's much thicker. Um, I really can control better how I put the Mod Podge onto the surface. It's not so watery, if I'm making any sense at all. But anyway, I do the whole pan up on the edges as well. I let that dry for about an hour and then painted the pan with the color Cloudless from Apple Barrel that's just a beautiful light pale blue. While the paint was still wet, I used my heat gun and you can see here what that's doing. It's causing kind of a crackle effect on the pizza pan. You can almost see it right before your eyes starting to appear. It's kind of like um, showing up in the brush marks that were left behind, mostly, for the most part. But yeah, it's giving it a cool, rustic, crackle look. I had one patch that didn't crackle like the rest of it did, so I'm just going to let that be the bottom of the pan. And I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree placemats and cutting out... Um, this mason jar that's kind of a tan color. I thought I was going to do this with the blue, but the blue on blue was clashing way too much, so this one worked out just fine. I'm just cutting all along the edges there, trying to get it as close as possible, and then I'll be gluing it down like so. But first, I'm going to use some Dollar Tree twine and go round and around the top of that mason jar, kind of mimicking what's um, drawn on there. And I'll tie a little simple bow in the front. Then I put a little dot of hot glue on the back to hold the twine into place. And added some glue to the back and stuck it down, leaving that top of the mason jar open so I could put some flowers in. These bunches of daisies I got from Dollar General last year, I believe. I started to cut them off the stem and I was like, well, wait a minute, why don't I just pull them off? Because, yeah, that's how they look like, how they look when you pull them off. So I'm going to start with three sets of the daisies, leaving them together like so. I made sure to have the longest ones on the outside so it's kind of hanging over the jar more on both sides. The other one I'll just stick down in the middle. Just putting a little bit of hot glue on the stem, sticking it down in top of that mason jar. And then I'll come in with a couple more, fill up the gap that's between the blooms and the jar. These I cut apart so I could stuff them down at different heights. Getting those shorter. And then I also put a couple of just single buds. I glued them just straight onto the head of the flower and stuck it where I wanted it. And 
I'm just using one of those leaves that I took off just to cover the um, greenery that was already drawn on the mason jar. I do a lot of fluffing, a lot of removing of the glue strings, and then I'm going to use some of this rope from Dollar Tree. This is just a remnant piece I had laying around. I'm going to glue it all the way around, just right up against that lip of the pan, starting at the bottom. Boy, this rope frays like crazy. Yeah, I'm just putting some glue around the pan, pushing that rope up against the glue, and I do that all the way around. And then I glue down that other end. Now I'm going to do a bow with this polka dot burlap from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to do a simple bow. I just slanted the ends. I didn't dovetail. I just did a simple slant because this is a simple country looking picture to me. And I did the awareness ribbon tied with twine in the center. And I leave the excess twine because it matches. So I've got twine around the mason jar, so it does perfectly fine to leave it like that. Do a little fluff in. Glue it over that raggedy ends that I have there to camouflage that. And then I took another piece of the ribbon to glue at the top on the back as a hanger. I'm out of frame here, but basically I just glued the ribbon down, then I put some more glue on top of those ends and stuck a craft stick over them. And there's how it turned out. I think this is so super cute. I thought I was going to use a full-size mason jar sign on this, but they were way too big. Luckily, I had this placemat that I could cut up and use. And I think it looks better than it would have otherwise. The daisies are flower of the month and the color of the month is aquamarine. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll go and check out that playlist to see what the other creators have done for this month. Until next time, bye bye.